for one another. We've met and prayed for one another. We've stayed up late at times talking, lamenting the woes of dating, uh, <laughs> eating ice, eating ice cream. Uh, we started ministry. We've done children's ministry. We've done youth ministry. We've done college ministry, singles ministry. And because we're getting older, geriatric ministry. <laughs> <laughs> right around right the corner. Um, but because of where we are today, uh, I can't help but think of that building. The amount of ministry that we've done in that building. Uh, we would meet here on Fridays and Saturday nights and we would get guys just together and we'd hook up Xboxes. And we play video games. And we play Halo to all hours of the night. And it's silly, but it was ministry. It was discipleship. Amen. People got saved. People learned about Jesus and got saved through that. People grew into a relationship with Christ. And I love that in that building right now is your bride to be. Is your bride to be. Before she presents herself to you, I just want to offer you a charge. Just a simple charge. Okay? You're about to enter into the covenant of marriage. It is a solemn, unbreakable, binding promise and oath that you're taking and has serious responsibilities. And that responsibility is that you are to protect your marriage and your bride at all costs. That it is at all costs that you are to look after the holiness and the health of your marriage and of your bride. Psalm, not Psalm, I'm sorry, Psalm of Solomon, verse, chapter 2, verse 15. Jesus, a vineyard in comparison to marriage. It compares marriage to what a vineyard is. All right? And in that verse, verse 15, it says, Catch the foxes for us, the little foxes that spoil the vineyards, for our vineyards are in blossom. What's happening there is that the bride is asking the groom, to catch these foxes that are coming into the vineyard to wreak havoc. So she's saying, do anything and everything that you need to do to protect our marriage. You as a husband are need to be a sentinel, a vigilant soldier, watching over every little disturbance.